story about racist messages and a death threat. Detectives are investigating three disturbing letters sent to local people, including a woman that Coyne interviewed for a story just last week. Investigators don't think the man named on the return address actually mailed them. Our Jacqueline Abad is digging deeper tonight. She talked to that man and to one of the women who got a letter. She's live with a story you'll see only on six. Dan, well, two of the letters went to people in Portland. One of them went to, went to a person in Vancouver, all from the same name and address. Now, one of the people that got the letters is the owner of Mimi's Fresh Teas. I also spoke with the man named in that return address. He tells me he didn't send the letters and he believes he's being targeted. These letters were not sent by me at all. That's the name on the return address to this letter sent to a woman our station Coin Six interviewed last week. She's the owner of Mimi's Fresh Teas, a local African American owned business in Portland. They make t shirts with empowering messages like Make Racism Wrong Again. And people have been wearing these teas at peaceful demonstrations. But on Monday, the owner received this letter, the writer threatening the owner's life, and the letter used six racial slurs. The owner of Mimi's Teas released this statement to Coin Six saying, I was living my life and keeping to myself, living my life in this skin, and suddenly my world was violated. This is the experience of black people in Portland in 2020. This is not unique, and I am not the first, and unfortunately, I won't be the last. Detectives in Oregon and Washington are investigating the letters, all from the same name and address. We are not naming the person listed on the letters, but we talked to him today. He wants to clear the air and reach out to those impacted. It just kind of shocks me that somebody would do this uh, to, to kind of target me. Obviously, they're targeting me. But whoever wrote it came from a place of hate. Because they're writing re the return address on the label with my name and my address, which is kind of scary. Because I don't want anybody to be in, in fear, especially of their neighbors. I mean, come on, this is crazy. I don't know what's going on. The owner of Mimi's Fresh Cheese also said, this experience has reinvigorated me and rededicated me to this work and my business. Hate will not win here. Love over hate. The Clark County Sheriff's Office tell us that the man did provide a writing sample. They say that he is cooperating with this investigation and he is currently not a suspect. Postal inspectors are also looking into all three letters at this time. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Jacqueline Abad, Coin 6 News.